G'day world, gonna clean up a couple of old calipers off an old Dodge today. Cast iron they are, and also got this aluminium plate for the same customer with Indy written on it. So we'll uh, give that a, a new look. But uh, I'll give you a look at these calipers and we'll come up with a cunning plan as to how we're gonna tackle these. And here's a closer look at what, we, what we're playing with today. These calipers have been soaking in diesel. Uh, they are full of rubbish. They're cast iron, as I said, and we've got to clean them up. Now, normally, I'd just dry blast those um, because that rust there on those calipers will dirty up my machine no end. But today, what I think I'll do is I'm going to... I'll degrease them, wash all this diesel off, we'll let them dry, and then we'll, uh, we'll dry blast everywhere that we can without impacting inside this machine surface inside the caliper so and then we'll uh, actually hydroblast them problem with hydroblasting cast iron is flash rust when we're finished but um, I don't think it'll be too bad so first up let's degrease these and then we'll make a start on them Right, I will uh, take those out, give them a rinse under the tap, and then put them aside to dry. Okay, I've come up with a plan for these old uh, brake calipers. What we're going to do is we're going to stick them in the dry blaster, and I'm going to blast off as much of that rust and crap as possible. But I'm going to steer clear of this area in here, uh, and I am going to hydroblast them after I've dry blasted them. So they can sit here and dry for a minute. And while they're drying off, we might stick this in the hydroblasting cabinet and uh, see what we can do with it. It's relatively clean, so it shouldn't take long to uh, make it look nice again. And while I've got you, have a look at these sitting here on the table. A couple of fork legs I did before, they look nice, don't they? There's that cover done, get a load of that guys. How sexual does that look? Anyway, we'll chuck one of these calipers in the dry blasting cabinet now and um, see what we can do with it. And there's that caliper after it's been in the dry blaster. I haven't spent a lot of time on that. I've just knocked off a lot of the rust that I didn't want on there, discolouring the water in the hydroblasting cabinet. And I've steered clear of this uh, machined area in here. So I'll uh, give that a fair work out with the uh, hydroblasting unit. That won't damage that uh, bore at all. So uh, we'll clean up this one and then we'll chuck them both in the hydroblasting cabinet and give them another wash. Right, oh, that's both of those dry blasted. Let's bung them in here and hit them with water and glass and see what we can do to them. And there's a look at those calipers out of the uh, hydroblasting machine. They've been sitting there for about 20 minutes, I suppose, and I don't know whether you can see that, but there's a... There's a slight brown tinge to those. That's normally why I don't like uh, wet blasting cast iron, but I had to give the insides of these a fair work out to uh, clean out the crap that was inside those, those bores. They come up quite nice. You're never gonna get this old cast iron spotless, but you're certainly gonna get them presentable enough to uh, put a coat of paint on. But yeah, happy with the result on those. Think the customer will be pleased. Well guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, hopefully you got something out of that video today. That's it, show you what we can do here at Bendigo Hydroblasting. Uh, if you enjoyed that and you wanna see more, don't forget, check out one of those videos and uh, you can always subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button, that always makes me feel good. Anyhow, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.